Well, perfect, I mean for the company, not for you, I'm afraid. I don't understand. Of course you don't understand, hmm? especially for, 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 you, for your IQ levels. Eh? <sighs> I mean, you will have no choice but to stick around. But uh, I have told you, I have a date with my girlfriend at night. I reserved a table for two. Like, Tim, I cannot just work at night. Whatever you're going to spend on her is paid from the company. Remember loyalty? Hmm? We need loyal employees. What has loyalty got to do with this? Do not ask me stupid questions. If I insist that you're going to stay, are you, what are you going to do? Eh? Call your dad, eh, daddy, dad, daddy, eh, they, they are refusing me. For, uh, eh. That's just unfair and wrong. It's just unfair, unfair and wrong. Call it unfair, I'll call it wrong, Jonathan. That's why they call it work. That's a great story. Now, I want to know, what kind of injury did you get? Uh, like, are you trying to mean injury when I was playing soccer? What kind was it? Okay, well, uh, I actually, I tripped and fell. Then, then one of my testicles spun around huh? and got stuck. <laughs> Just be beneath in my gut. And you're still a man? I got the same kind, the same one. That is why you see, we never had any other children after Libya. We cannot afford not to have grandchildren to begin with. Secondly, a man with his with a span testicles stuck inside his intestines as good as useless, Lillian. Mm -hmm. uh, Auntie, that's excessively rude. And besides, accidents happen to everyone. Well, I'm very sorry for stating the obvious, but Lillian, we need a son in law that will give us grandchildren. Can't you see that you're ripe and ready for marriage? Okay, you know what? That that feels like a forced marriage. And besides, I told you, me and Mark are planning on spending the rest of our lives together. Look, not everybody was happy, but then you just made your choice anyway. And what's your point, Lillian? What's your I point? What are you trying to say? My point is, Auntie, you made your choice then. I am making mine now. And please don't touch me. <laughs> this is physical assault. This is an abomination. <laughs> I could have never imagined that such a day could come where my only brother's tutor would humiliate me like this. <laughs> the keeps me full of balance.